I'm Ms. Bliss. I'm an ELA social studies and intervention teacher. Some of you have already had me. Um, so some of you already know who I am or some of you know me from last year. I'm just going to briefly tell you a little bit about myself and in my intervention class I did show a video about uh, air traffic control so I will leave that link somewhere on our page. Um, so uh, your first period teacher has already gone over your uh, expectations, how to navigate through the Google Classroom, things like that. So we don't have to do so much of that, but we will kind of review the uh, attendance as well. So um, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in Baltimore, Maryland on the East Coast. I moved to New York for a little bit. Don't remember it because I was a little bitty. Then I moved to Alabama for a few years and I grew up then we moved uh, and I grew up in near Kansas City, Missouri. So I'm a big Chiefs fan, very excited. Um, and then I went in the military when I turned 18 and I was in the military for 11 years. I was an air traffic controller. And then um, I was stationed here finally and I got out here and I was a uh, field supervisor for animal control in Corpus Christi for a few years got my degree and became a teacher. I started out as a, a teacher aide and worked my way up. So that's a little bit about me. I went a little more into detail. Um, and of course, if you have questions, please ask. I love to talk about myself. So uh, anyway, uh, what we're gonna do though first, of course I wanna know all about you, but right now this is just the video portion. So um, this is for students that are having difficulty with technical issues had a doctor's appointment whatever the case may be weren't able to get on uh with us live so that's what this video is for um as far as attendance i'm going to share my screen i'm going to go to oops i didn't get it up so give me a second let me let me get out of there i'm gonna pause for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and we're gonna share my screen. We're gonna go to, where did it go? Let me see if this is right. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna go here. Okay, so in your ELA class, you've already kind of gotten a brief summary. You probably remember it from last year for those of you that have already been uh, doing the Google Classroom. Uh, I'm new to the Google Classroom. I did do some last year, but not uh, to the extent that I'm doing it this year. So I'm learning probably a lot more than you are. Um, anyway, for attendance, what you have, must do for attendance every day. Let's see if I have it on this one. I have a daily attendance in our stream. This will be, I'm going to always make sure that this is at the, the top of the the attendance so that you can find it easily. So you're just going to go into your daily attendance, click on it. You're going to put your name, your ID, today's date. And if well, there's a any, any questions that you have or that you're having problem with, you can put it here. If you just want to say hello, please keep it teacher friendly. And then you submit. This is going to count you present. If you're live with me on Zoom, you're going to be counting present. Uh, but I would still like you to do the attendance because I'm not sure how the district is going to do things. So try to do both. I uh, want you here with me on the Zooms during our class period, of course. But if there's some other you know, thing that comes up, you can't get on, the computer's broke, keyboard, uh, the, a key fell off the keyboard, uh, the dog ate your computer, whatever the problem is. Uh, as long as you get this in by midnight of each day, each day though, you have to have this in by midnight. You have to either do this attendance thing that we have right here. You have to be on Zoom with me. You have to text me. Your parent has to text me. Some kind of communication has to be done every single day in order for you to be counted present, okay? This is the easiest way. This is the surefire 100% way that you will get uh, attendance. So that has to be every single day and it will be in our stream. I will try to remember to put it at the top of the stream, 
but I'll remind you on Zoom. But the problem is going to be if, you, if you're not live with me, you may not have that reminder. So you're going to have to tell yourself, maybe put it on your calendar or on your um, to-do list. If you have a to-do list that's near your little workspace, always check in, do your attendance for each class. Okay. All right. So our rules, uh, your first period teacher should have already gone over your Zoom rules. We will leave it up for discussion at the end of the period. Uh, this, of course, is just the video. If you have questions about Zoom rules, you can ask those questions in your attendance section or uh, any kind of uh, communication that you can make with me will work for that. So I'm not going to go over those rules again, but we're going to uh, go to the Google Classroom just to make sure that you understand everything going on. So I'm going to share again the screen. We're going to go back to the Google Classroom. So let's say I've already done this. I'm out of here. I'm going to go back to, going to go back to, oops, okay. Go back to my Google Classroom. Okay, I've done my attendance, great. Sometimes there's going to be things that we can reuse over and over again, like the CSPS chart, things like that, that may uh, stay in the stream. Most of your stuff that you're going to need is going to be in the classwork section. <coughs> Mine, I have like loaded a lot of things. So some of my things that aren't, we're not working on, they're light. The things that we're going to be working on like today, tomorrow, those are going to be dark and I can click on them and I can actually get into them. Okay. So for us, um, you should only have like the classwork that you actually need to work on. Like today should be what's dark because I have it dated and put in there. So for you, uh, that's going to be the I am poem and the CSPS chart possibly. And you know, a couple other things, but <coughs> the main thing, we're going to work on today is the I am poem. Another thing you're going to need is uh, a spiral or a composition book, cheap little dollar composition book. If you don't have it, let's say you haven't gone to the store because you know, you've been playing safe, which is just fine. Uh, and you don't have this, but you have paper, use some paper, staple it together. Use some paper, keep it all together in a folder, whatever you gotta do, just you are gonna need something so you can set up for uh, some of the writing activities. So the writing activities are gonna be your bell ringers every day. Your bell ringers are gonna go in here. Your notes are gonna go in here, uh, that kind of thing. This will be something that um, if I need a grade for it, I will have you take a picture of it and, and post it that way. Otherwise, we'll worry about that when we all get back together in person. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go over the I am poem. Let's see, I'm gonna go back to sharing my screen. I'm gonna go here, we're gonna go to the I am poem. That is what we are working on for day one. Some of you it's day two, but basically it's the first time you're meeting with me. So we're going to go to the I am poem. I'm going to open it up. And you're going to tell me all about you, but let's go over it together first. This isn't a hard assignment. This is just something fun so I can get to know you. Ignore my dog and cat fighting in the background. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're going to describe things that are about you. Okay. Um, don't, don't be obvious. It's telling us, you know, I'm, I'm 10 or well, actually you guys would be 11 and 12, right? <coughs> I'm 11 and I'm a girl. No, I want to know a lot more than that. All right. So if I were to do this for me, I'm going to go down. You are going to be able to go in here and type. Okay. I would put, I am maybe uh, an enthusiastic teacher. Okay, but yours is going to be different than mine. And then you can delete. So uh, what you can do is when you do yours, you can just highlight this, this part right here, all of it, and then type in your answer. And then you'll be able to turn it in that way. Okay. 
So yeah, try to get rid of all the junk that's in there because we don't need it, okay? And if you want to add a picture, you are more than welcome to do that. So if you want to insert something, you want to insert a drawing or uh, even like a, a, something from the internet, like a picture of a teddy bear or a picture of a unicorn or whatever, if you want to put that in there, you can. If you want to decorate your whole page, you can do that. If you want to get rid of all this writing up here, you can do that, okay? So it's all about what you want to do, okay? So um, you can get rid of all this. You can add a picture in here. You can put a picture in the background if you want. You can put a picture, uh, you could do a border. You could do whatever you want to do. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to tell me about yourself. So the first part is, I am something special about you, okay? I wonder, maybe something you're curious about. How long are we gonna be uh, doing virtual? Uh, when is the pandemic gonna end? Um, when am I gonna get back to normal? Those might be something that you're wondering about, okay? But make it personal about what you are. I hear, maybe you hear, um, maybe it's raining out, maybe um, it's windy, maybe you hear something like that. I see, maybe you see uh, your family or you, you know, something like that. I want, maybe I want things to be normal. Maybe I want to go to the store. Maybe I want to go to Hurricane Alley or maybe I want this, uh, whatever it is. Then the next part, I am, you're gonna repeat that first line of the poem. For, for me, it was the enthusiastic teacher. So if I were to read through this first stanza for me, it would be, I am an enthusiastic teacher. I wonder when the pandemic is going to end. I hear kids playing outside. I see the sun shining bright. I want the pandemic to be over. I am an enthusiastic teacher. You see how that works? And then I would probably put a pic picture of myself or I'd put a picture of a teacher or something like that. So now, then you go to the second stanza, I pretend something that you would pretend to do. I feel, I touch, I worry, I cry. I've been doing that some during this. I am, that's, you're gonna go back to that first line. I am an enthusiastic teacher for me. Then you go to the third stanza. I understand, okay? I understand maybe why we have to be virtual, okay? I say things that I believe in. I dream, that's huge right now. And then I try. Okay, keep going. And see, so you can, uh, when you do yours, if you get rid of that first blob of writing, this will all be on one page. So it'll look really nice and I'm really excited about it. If, I, if I'm in my classroom, I can print these and maybe put them outside. If you don't want yours printed, please just let me know. Just give me, just throw me a comment and say, I don't want mine posted for other people to see. If you don't care, then I might make copies and post them just so I feel like you guys are closer to me. Um, I hope and that I am is gonna repeat that first line of the poem. All right, so that is, that is it for, uh, it could be day one, it could be day two for you guys, I'm not sure. That's it for this video portion. Some of you I'm gonna be doing this live, some of you are only getting the video, that's fine. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm going to call it the day, all right.